hello my lovely angels how are you guys doing i hope you are fine and rocking as always today we are going to see which areas of your life you are going to achieve success in the new year so we have three options over here option number one is this beautiful selenite tea light holder option number two is this cute little cherub And option number three is this pyramid. It has got Sri Yantra and Gomti Chakra in it. So you can select any option that you are drawn towards. In case if you are confused as to which option you should go ahead with, you can take three pieces of paper, write one, two and three uh, numbers in each piece of paper just close your eyes and say dear god goddess archangels which areas of my life am i going to achieve success in the new year and then pick up any one piece of paper whatever number comes that's going to be your pile so let's begin with today's session i cannot wait we're going to see your angel numbers uh, charms other divination tools oracle cards tarot as well all right let's get started hello group one how are you guys doing i hope you're fine and amazing as always happy happy new year today we are going to see which areas of your life you are going to achieve success in the new year all right so uh you have chosen this beautiful tea light selenite tea light candle holder which means that there is going to be a lot of knowledge coming your way uh, there is going to be a lot of light uh, happening in your life also illumination i also feel with this option that you have chosen you are going to really focus on peace of mind you will be keeping away all the toxicity trying your best to keep the toxicity away now let's see what your cards are going to tell us So you are somebody who kind of believes a lot in working hard but you also have over a period of time learned the importance of manifestation uh, also, and prayers and rituals as well. So let's uh, see your cards one by one. First area of your life which you are going to achieve success. Now you have got the seven of swords. So of course you're not, it doesn't mean that you're going to achieve success in cheating. All right. But what you're going to achieve success in is protecting yourself from fraudulent people. All right. Protecting yourself from uh, people who do not have your goods. You, you learn to keep information more to yourself also you will achieve success if you are in the area of um, of any kind of defense okay could be uh, you know a military a spy or uh, or cyber crime or uh, you know protecting any kind of things all right now this is for some people not all people are into that field right so you're the first thing that you're going to achieve success is all those people who are copycats who copy you and you have been really tired of this copycats so the first success that you're going to achieve is you're not going to bother about them and they're not going to feed off by uh, by your work okay that's the first success that you're going to achieve all right now some of you may be like but she tells a good thing that you know there are in getting inspired see getting inspired is different and just copy pasting is different all right so yes all those people who have uh, kind of cheated you all right you are no longer going to get bothered by them second you are going to ensure that you are being smart enough to work on what serves you best all right that's your next card 
the world wow so the world is a card of success so you're going to achieve success all right especially uh, if you are somebody who reaches out or who works with uh, people across the globe all right i also feel that you're going to achieve success if you are in the field of dancing or if you're in, if you're dealing with import export or if you're dealing with communication uh, if you're a teacher healer or if you are into any sort of communication work okay with the world card i also feel that you are going to achieve success in attaining your travel plan so everybody has a tra ha everybody have travel goals right so this card is telling that you're going to achieve uh, your travel goals in the new year eight of swords so you're going to achieve success now with the seven and eight of swords i can clearly see that you're going to achieve success in your mindset all right which means you're going to uh, you're going to ensure that your willpower is so strong that you are not falling prey to victim mentality or you're not uh, falling into the temptation or the manipulation of others or your ego okay so clearly you are going to uh, you're going to kind of you know um be very powerful in your emotional wisdom in your eq with the 7 and the 8 of swords and you we all know when the mind is healthy when the mind when you have a great mindset you can achieve amazing things in life all right so that's the first part of your success i also feel some of you are going to travel and this travel will lead to wisdom all right now let's see what your other cards are telling us i also feel that you have recently been to a spiritual place uh, and this particular spiritual place has got very high uh, energy and this energy has kind of a uh, shifted your vibration in a positive way that's what i'm hearing i also feel with your this cards if you have been having trouble reaching out to more people because you're afraid of getting trolled or if you're afraid that you're not good enough that barrier also you are going to kind of you know break i also feel with this cards that you have a, in some area of your life you have a mindset that you will not succeed so that mindset is also going to get broken which will lead to success all right let's see your cards now okay donation teething and charitable work so uh, you are going to achieve lot of success in helping others now you may some of you may feel but she was a great thing i already help others well to help others you need to have enough all right and more so also to help others you need to have a have a very abundant mindset as well so you're going to have all of that which means you're going to receive more which will enable you to give more and trust me even if you have all the money in the world charity is not something that you choose charity is something that the divine chooses to to do by using you as a medium all right so that medium as a medium you're going to be chosen by the divine and you're going to do lot of great work all right vulnerability so this card is telling you that see now this card quite sings with the 7 and the 8 of swords which clearly means that you you have been having issues expressing your uh, emotional emotions to others because you do not want to come across as weak you're somebody who safeguards uh emotions because in the past when you have been vulnerable to someone towards someone they have either made fun of you or they have written off your feelings that has kind of made you feel that you know what i am not going to share my feelings or my emotions with others as 
it is of no use so i also feel that some of you are going to really have this great um therapist or a friend or a uh, or a guide or a mentor who is going to help you to face your emotions in a very uplifting manner and not in a condescending manner all right all right let's see your prayers are being answered so the so the area in which you are going to achieve success is the prayers that you have been doing whether it is um you are buying a home whether it is uh extending family getting married so whatever the prayers are uh, at least few of them are going to get answered thus leading to success in those areas all right uh, so keep so ensure that uh you are being open to the way the divine is answering your prayers at times you know you i've seen that uh, for example in love people have very strict parameters all right i remember a friend of mine had told me when i was single that shital if you have a uh, 100 points that you are looking in a person if somebody meets at least 60% of those parameters have a chat with that person meet that person have an open mind so at times your prayers can be answered in ways you do not expect them to be however it's important that we are aware and that awareness comes via meditation spending time in solitude so ensure that you do that as well okay the blessing coming your way is a blessing on your boundaries and again i am not surprised with the 7 and 8 of swords it clearly shows that uh, you are a very nice person and you have been constantly being taken advantage of and you have reached a point wherein you are like you know what enough is enough so you're going to kind of stand up for yourself you're going to draw those boundaries around around uh, people who specially take you for granted okay that's amazing let's your next card teaching again not surprising so if you are into the field of teaching mentoring management all right uh, or you're a life coach you are going to achieve success in that area there will be lot of transformation happening i also feel that you are going to really uh bring in a lot of knowledge and with your selenite tea light candle holder i had already told that to you so of light you are going to bring in the world and uh, to to bring light into the world you have to be light yourself and to be light yourself you have to get rid of all the uh, limiting mindset which you are going to do in the new year isn't that amazing now let's see what your other divination tools are going to tell us let's first see your Okay. All right. Let's see your charms first. So we have got a summer shirt and the world. Interestingly, you also got the card world. Clearly, you are going to reach out to more people. If you are an influencer or an actor, uh, there is a lot of success across the globe. and that's quite interesting and you will kind of get out of your comfort zone to and your fear in order to achieve that success the summer shirt clearly says that you're going to have an amazing vacation which also is indicated by the world card the world card represents success and travel all right and you got both of this together so that's not surprising you will visit a water body you have got car so some of you are going to a uh, move ahead okay that's the success you're going to receive some of you are going to buy a new car or a vehicle uh, some of you are going to really break down all the road blocks that you have been facing with especially with your mindset let's your other charms you got over here look at this 
Isn't this amazing? These two people are shaking hands and as if a contract or a deal is being done. So some of you are going to receive a deal or a contract from an international source, all right, uh, or to reach out to more people. Uh, opportunities coming from if you're in corporate opportunities coming from like a, for an on-site project or opportunities coming to visit for training or opportunities coming for um, you know from an MNC this is for corporate the ones who are in business expect opportunities to expand to reach out to more people to uh, contracts getting signed with important customers if you are a homemaker uh, expect a lot of uh, success coming to you as home as a homemaker you know uh, please do not underestimate a homemaker is two to three full-time jobs together all right and you're going to receive a lot of success in managing everything you'll also receive a lot of opportunities for finances and abundance coming via your source of income all right which could be a spouse or it could be um, a parent all right also if you are a retired person again it means having a great time in the life in life chilling and traveling there are many people who watch this channel so i have to show all the angles together you got over here a lock so i feel that you really need to uh, avoid or to let go of doors which are closed and to look at doors which are open for you that could really help now look at the signs that you have got you got gemini okay you have got libra and you have got scorpio so either you could be one of these signs or somebody who has this signs will be of importance okay you got over here intelligent charming passionate all right can you see yes so this is what your charms are going to tell us now let's see what your angel number will tell us right you've got two angel numbers so i'm going to talk all about angel numbers how to do divination with angel numbers how to read oracle cards in my upcoming angel guidance workshop in case if you are interested you can click on the link given in the pinned comment and also you can go through the testimonials given by the earlier participants okay let's pick up some words over here All right, let's check this out you have got big so definitely big happy changes big success coming your way you have got book again you know with this i'm not surprised i'm the teaching again i'm not surprised if you're a writer your book is going to get a lot of success across the world a lot of acknowledgement across the world also with the book card i can clearly see that there is going to be a lot of knowledge coming your way and this knowledge is going to open your mindset you have got over here walk which means you're going to oh walk and ride which means that you are going to walk away from things which are not serving you again with a blessing on your boundaries that's not surprising that's your angel oh wow you have got the angel number 44 which means millions of angels are with you supporting you in this new uh, success that you're going to achieve you got the number 58 which means positive changes are coming in your finances that so you're going to receive financial success as well now let's see what your uh, alphabets are i'll keep it one by one over here this could be your first name middle name last name or could be your initials or somebody else's initials or there could be a word that requires your attention okay so these are the alphabets you have got g g d n t l c these are your alphabets now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us so think about a question group one and let me spin the wheel for you 
so you have got between wait and miracle okay so whatever you asked for you will receive it but there is a wait uh, a downtime involved in it all right group one i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did if you did do hit the like button to subscribe to my channel if you're guided also i have um, an upcoming workshop which is angel guidance it's a pre-recorded workshop you can get easy access and start your new year with the support and love of angels i also have um, i'm also there on instagram in case if you want to be a part of my instagram community wherein i share quite a lot about uh, glimpses of my personal life and uh, how the day is going to be every day rituals my altar decorations you can have you can join that community we are a family of 29000 people all the links are given in the pinned comment take care bye bye hello group 2 how are you guys doing i hope you are fine and amazing as well happy new year today we are going to see which areas of your life you are going to achieve success in the new year this is a timeless reading so whenever you re see this reading that's the new year or that's the year you're supposed to look at so you have chosen this beautiful cute little cherub so i feel that there is going to be a lot of success that you are going to achieve in terms of personal life uh could be love and family friendships harmony as well now let me keep your cute little cherub over here and let's see which areas of your life you are going to achieve success in the new year Okay, this card one card just fell off i'll keep over here so uh i feel that i can sense some digestion issues or stomach issues okay so that's something that is bothering you right now all right or maybe you're dealing with some sort of healing issue it could be emotional physical as well all right let's see your cards one by one you have got the king of cups so the success that you are going to achieve is emotional wisdom you will be able to process your emotions in a very very wise manner interestingly even group 1 had a different card which kind of spoke about a mindset in your case it's emotional wisdom all right you're going to process your emotions pretty well and there is going to be a man who is going to help you to do that okay let's see your other cards if your father is in heaven or if there is a man in heaven and you have been wanting to communicate with that particular individual uh, you will be able to clearly understand the signs that they are sending this is for few of you not all of you the page of sword so you are going to achieve success in paperwork yes paperwork formalities getting clarity uh, you there is going to be lot of ideas that you are going to receive and these ideas are going to really help you to move ahead so again lot of clarity over here and lot of emotional wisdom over here and again there is going to be a young person who is going to help you with getting this paperwork and this road blocks removed and a very wise man who is going to help you to process your emotions you have got two court cards till now which means other people are going to help you to achieve success you have got the tower card interesting so you are going to achieve success in rebuilding 
okay and rebuilding new things in your life whatever change is going to happen in your life a major transformation you are going to achieve success in that major transformation also at the same time with this card you will be able to rebuild okay it could be rebuilding a home uh, rebuilding a place that you have been wanting to i also feel that if some of you have been facing lot of road blockages okay or obstacles in this uh, massive change all right in in a project okay that will be removed okay uh, i also feel with this card now this card when it comes to health also represents stomach okay which i got when i was um doing shuffling of your cards so if you have been having issues with your stomach uh they could be respite of course follow the doctor's advice uh, take proper medication proper diet and proper precaution i also feel that you are going to transform something which was completely given up by someone into something absolutely new all right and once you do that people would be like oh my god how did you do it how were you able to turn this complete dead project into an absolutely wonderful uh, success okay let's see this card temperance so this card just kind of fell off so you are going to achieve a lot of balance while bringing in this uh, change all right this transformation you are going to kind of play the role of mediator also what i can see with this two cards is that you are going to achieve success in resolu in resolving conflicts all right you will be called as a mediator to resolve uh, certain conflicts that people are facing as well okay now let's see what your other cards are going to tell us we'll also see your other divination tools okay let me just okay those two cards just kind of decided to come out <laughs> all right tower can also mean getting rid of stagnant energy it also means getting rid of toxic people who create this drama trauma in your life all right let's see the last deck the life of the stick it's so interesting that group 1 had also got two cards which represented mindset and even you have got cards two cards on similar line so i guess you were confused between group 1 and group 2 okay you have got journaling now page of sword also represents writing all right so some of you are going to be able to process your emotions pretty well by doing journaling writing also you're going to write down a lot of ideas are going to come to you all right you're going to write this ideas down and that's going to help you some of you are also going to be a successful writer and uh, can you see this card yeah some of you are going to be a successful writer and with this two cards coming together it is not surprising again i feel for some it it's going to be a new project all right you have got let go walk away from this situation in order to resolve it and you got tower as a well you're going to achieve success so you may just walk off from a problem which is no longer serving your mental peace and then you will get a resolution you'll come back to this problem and resolve it all right so resolution of a conflict resolution of a problem the blessing coming your way is a blessing on your health oh my god while shuffling your cards i spoke about stomach healing digestion i also spoke about with the king of cups uh, you know your emotions getting healed emotional wisdom and look at the card 
of course you need to take i always tell this this is an energy but you need to take proper practical steps like doctor's advice doctor's medicine a consultation precaution all that it takes to have good health all right so that's the blessing coming your way isn't that beautiful this is what i love about cards oracle cards i teach about them in my angel guidance workshop if you want to know more about it the link is given in the pinned comment okay the way forward is open all right so this card is telling you that there are going to be a lot of opportunities coming your way and this opportunities will lead to personal and spiritual freedom i think i also said while shuffling the cards that uh, when i held the chair up that in your personal life there is going to be uh, happiness and with this over here uh, opportunities abound i'll guide you to personal and spiritual freedom so definitely a lot of things which were kind of blocking you in your personal life in your spiritual life that are going to get resolved and a lot of joy coming your way again emotional happiness all right let's see this two cards which just decided to fly <laughs> cooperation instead of competition which means you are going to receive lot of opportunities to collaborate and this collaboration is going to help you to move ahead all right you are going to work with others just remember that teamwork is essential collaborate and do not compete okay that's not going to help you in the long run all right now let's see your other card declutter so again tower also means decluttering all right which means that you're going to get rid of the old and worn out and new opportunities new things are going to come in your life all right so clearly you're going to declutter uh, relationship which are not working you're going to declutter items which are no longer being used by you you're going to declutter your surroundings your workplace you're going to have a proper schedule so you know the success that you are going to achieve is in balance work life balance it's uh, balance and harmony in life in general as well also balance in the yin and the yang energy so the ones who have been facing hormone issues uh, they could be uh, could be respite all right now let's see what your other uh, charms are going to tell us as always whenever i talk anything about health please ensure that uh, you are taking proper medical help and consultation by licensed doctor and a therapist okay that's your alphabets now let's see what okay those are your charms Okay, let's see your charms you have got this pencil gripper which means you are going to receive the support in order to move ahead and again i'm not surprised with the cooperate instead of compete card that you got you have got over here a christmas tree and you have got over here a star okay a wish fulfilling star all right so clearly a wish of yours is going to get fulfilled and uh, whatever this wish is it ha it has got initiated or you have thought about it in the december month okay all around christmas all right you have got over here a lamp which again talks about direction all right so you're going to receive the direction that you have been looking for again the lamp also represents the page of swords which means a lot of ideas coming your way a lot of downloads happening and these downloads are going to really help you to move ahead you have got over here this cute fairy all right so a lot of manifestation that you have been really doing uh, those are going to come true let me make her sit over here all right no she doesn't want to sit okay you got the number 1 all right so it could be that you are seeing this number often 
and keep your manifestation positive number one is the number of ambition uh, action so you need to take proper action number one is also the sun energy all right which means vitality full of and you know enthusiasm success as well all right group one and group two's reading i feel a, a, a little bit similar okay you have got this sign capricorn over here all right and it talks about ambitious oh my god i just spoke about number one and ambitious all right so a lot of your ambitions are going to come true uh, however to achieve those ambitions you have to get out of your comfort zone okay and i think you will be able to with the king of cups and the page of swords now let's see what uh, let's also see what words you have got oh my god you got so many words okay let's see you got make parents all right so some of you are going to be parents all right the ones who are like little we do not want to have a family it could also mean that you will be sponsoring uh kids who are you know who don't have parents or fostering them or helping your nephew nieces also make parents can parents can also mean that you would be taking care of your parents and you'll be like a great child or there could be a new project you got animal over here you may adopt a a uh, animal for a baby okay you got teeth over here all right you got juice again you're going to have a healthy lifestyle you got wrinkle okay you have got polite and you got sure okay so let me see what this words are meaning so clearly you are teeth represents foundation all right and the teeth represents some of you may just have sucks i feel some of you are going to have a glow up okay you're going to get a glow up of your skin of your teeth all right you're going to eat and drink healthy and that's going to really help your overall health some of you may decide to let go of animal products some of you may adopt a for oh, an animal all right you're also going to be great in terms of you know what earlier you used to have like uh, if somebody would say something you would just give that person back however you're going to restrain yourself and use more lighter words all right um and you're going to be more sure of where you want to go and what you want to do all right that's what this is talking about now let's see what words you have got this could be first name middle name last name or or your initials or there could be some word that requires your attention okay all right so the alpha the words that you have got the alphabet that you got is r <laughs> l n e g r c t n this are your alphabets could be your initials somebody else's initials um a word i can see the word 10 over here clearly so 10 represents 10 is a number which represents completion in a way where in it's 1 and 0 all right the one represents manifest your dreams and zero represents um the creator loves you we did not see your angel number right let's pick up an angel number we did get a uh, number 1 all right so your the changes that you are going to experience okay will be in partnership collaboration and not surprising you did get cooperation instead of competition so positive changes happening in terms of getting the right support to go ahead all right and the angel number represents 
positive changes are coming major positive changes coming have faith all right group two i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did uh, do like this video do share this video with your friends and family if you think they are going to benefit from this video also uh, the angel guidance workshop is on you can learn a lot of things and you can start your year with the angelic blessings the link is all given in the pinned comment if you want me to if you want to join me on my instagram community you can join me there i share uh, my altar decoration my stories are quite filled with altar decorations how the day is going to be from monday to friday uh, some some rituals some tips as well all right group two i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did if you did do hit the like button to subscribe to my channel if you're guided have a wonderful wonderful day ahead bye bye and i forgot to do your <laughs> wheel of fortune so think about a question group two and let me spin the wheel for you you have got yes it went to trust and it came back so trust and it will happen all right okay group two take care of yourself bye bye hello group three how are you guys doing i hope you're fine and rocking as always today we are going to see which areas of your life you are going to achieve success in the new year you have chosen this beautiful pyramid which has got shri yantra and gomati chakra that means clearly you have a connect with goddess lakshmi and lord vishnu or you're somebody who believes a lot in bringing changes in their life through their actions through their thoughts also with this i feel that you have worked a lot towards clearing your energies clearing your uh, life from people who were not serving you in a way that they were meant to okay now let's see uh, what areas are going to you are going to achieve success all right i feel lately your mind seems to be a little fogged f o g g e d all right uh, you kind of you know are forgetting things like what you want to say all right you are kind of uh, i feel that there is lot of uh, anxiety lot of overthinking that's happening and it's not that you're doing overthinking just because you know everything is good in life and still you want to overthink that's not the case all right you have been through a lot and you're trying your best to stay afloat all right let's see the first um area of your life that you are going to achieve success is balance and harmony you're going to learn and achieve success in understanding that every situation can have a midway it's not always my way or the highway also you're going to understand how to strike a balance between saying what you want to say and not let not letting the other person feel offended i also feel with this card that there is going to be a lot of work life balance which you're going to achieve when i was shuffling your cards i could sense that you do have something which is called a high functioning you know uh need or desire that you need to constantly do something occupy yourself with something you just can't sit and do nothing all right okay you have got the king of wands which means you're going to achieve a lot of success in your career if you are a homemaker or if you are a retired person or a student this means you're going to achieve a lot of success in 
doing something out of the box there is a man via whom you're going to achieve success or whose success is going to have a positive impact on your life all right a lot of action adventure creativity so with this card i also feel there will be a lot of creative energy creative force coming into your life and you're going to achieve success via that or in it Okay, you've got 10 of swords reversed. Now, this is very, very interesting. I don't do reversals. Even in my tarot workshop, I tell people that, you know, all 78 cards represent different aspects of your life. So with this card, I feel that all those who have kind of um, betrayed you or made fun of you or all those people who were like, you know what, this person is gone, washed out, are going to see you succeed. And that's the area, okay, wherein you will receive a lot of adoration, a lot of um, support as well. And this support is going to make you feel so awesome, all right? There are going to be people who were kind of, trying to say things about you and rather than getting back at them with words you're going to get back at them with your work your recognition with your success isn't that amazing wow one major arcana card one quote card that's interesting now let's see what your other cards are going to tell us You know, when I look at your cards, I can clearly see a story over here. There was a point of time in your life wherein you were at the rock bottom. You came, you, you came out of it and you, you won, okay? You achieved what you wanted to achieve. And now you are like, you know what? I have achieved a lot. Now I need to kind of live life as well. Okay, that's the story I'm getting. Okay, let's see your other cards. I'm hearing the word ruby. So uh, ruby is normally worn to get success in career and for that energy, just like how the king of wands card is. You have been, you know, uh, putting in a lot of your energy by talking, okay? Like, you need to kind of, uh, maybe on social media or on... Oops, wow, that's interesting. So many cards fell. I'll take this three cards. And this, I will take how many are there? You know what? I'll take all of them because there's a reason why all of them came out. Okay, let's see all your cards one by one. Okay, the first card that you have got is partnership. Wow, even group two had got the same card. So, um, you are going to receive support, okay, in your personal life, in your career. And this support will be beneficial for you and the other party as well. And this will kind of help you to harness your resources in the most effective manner. All right. So support coming your way through which you'll achieve success. All is in perfect timing. So definitely doors of opportunities are going to open up for you. And this perfect opportunities will come via someone. And this opportunities will help you to go ahead. So that's the success coming your way. New opportunities in terms of your life. The blessing coming your way is a blessing to find the truth. Now, again, over here, the Ten of Swords energy, which talks about betrayal. Maybe you have certain questions in your mind as maybe there is a closure that you did not get. And all the reasons 
behind that particular trauma drama you will come to know this way you will achieve success in closing that chapter and moving ahead all right let me keep your card over here you have got artists again with the king of wands king of wands talks a lot about creativity and artist is someone who is creative all right so definitely you are the creative side of yours is going to flourish you could be a designer or you could be a painter something to a makeup artist uh, something to do with art and definitely you're going to achieve success in it it feels like you know you tried your hand in this art and it kind of did not work out however in the future it will work out with the help of a successful man or a collaboration now let's see all i think archangel gabriel wants to communicate so much with you interesting let's see your cards one by one you got a vision board all right so you have created a vision book or a vision board in which you have posted images all right so most of those are going to get achieved you are going to get success on the same you got time management so you're going to manage your time effectively and with the temperance card i'm not surprised and this time management will help you to get that much needed work life balance let's see your next card you have got gratitude so it it says you attract more blessings when you appreciate your current blessings so many people what they do is for 5 minutes they'll be grateful and for the rest of the 24 hours you know they are going to just keep on cribbing and complaining see i don't believe in toxic gratitude as well wherein you're just shoving all your um upset feelings down the blanket of gratitude no it means that yes you acknowledge that things may not be that great for example you are really having a bad boss okay and you're frustrated with that boss and you focus your energy from your toxic boss to what you like in your work what are you grateful for the salary that comes every month what you are able to do with that salary and uh, the moment you start doing that your focus starts shifting from what's not working out to what is working out all right and focus whatever you focus on trust me that multiplies okay let me keep it over here let's see your next message from archangel gabriel editor oh my god why all the three piles ha have this writing thing in it i feel that you know a lot of writers are going to watch my video any which way writing can also mean a creative project so clearly with the king of wands and this card uh, you are going to be given a new creative project and this creative project is going to help you to harness your skills your abilities in a manner which gives you a lot of success okay lovely i also feel editor can mean support wow you have got birth so some of you are going to literally birth a new project and some of you are literally going to birth a new baby all right some of you are going to become parents so it could be success in becoming a parent success in getting an idea uh, a happy news or an exciting project wow that's interesting you have got retreat so some of you are going to really take that break again with the temperance card you're going to work hard with the king of wands energy and you're going to rest it out as well balance it out as as well with the temperance card and that's what retreat talks about as well let's see your next card wow you got so many card pay attention to your dreams because lot of divine guidance is going to come to you via your dreams all right and also your dreams are going to tell you what you need to focus on you got media so yes uh, you you will achieve success via media as well so social media you may get an opportunity via your social media account or you may get more people via your social media account if you're an influencer an actor or now it is everybody works on social media whether you are a doctor or a teacher all right so uh, you're going to achieve a lot of success via social media all right let's go last 
motivation so if you have been feeling demotivated because of uh, the past disappointments there is going to be a lot of motivation coming your way especially why the angels i feel and this motivation is going to help you move forward i uh, am teaching angel guidance workshop in which you can get a lot of help support from the angels in various aspects of your life to know more details about this workshop the link is given in the pinned comment you can click on that and to see how uh, the course is what is the pa earlier participants experiences as well now let's see uh, what your charms are going to tell us Okay, you have got torch, which means uh, a blessing to find your way, success in finding your way as well. Did we have any of that over here? Clarity in any card? Okay, you. This was a pineapple. So something you know which looked so hard outside and was difficult to break. You will be able to break that. You have got a bag over here. So success in shopping luxury bags or success in terms of finances as well. Wow, you have got, wow. So definitely a lot of success coming your way in terms of you becoming a better version of yourself. You're going to be more kind. You're going to be more, more compassionate, more happy, more peaceful, more brave more thankful, more free. So definitely a lot of positive changes in with regards to your uh, you as a person. This is like a spiral wheel, sort of movement, success in progressing ahead, okay? It looks like in the past you were stuck, you had kind of hit the rock bottom. However, you made peace with it and now you're ready to go ahead like a king, all right? Now let's see what your other dimension tools are gonna tell us. So first let's let's let me remove an angel number. Okay. Let's see some words that require your attention. Okay. All right, hold on. Something is to fill. Let me pick it up. All right, and now let's see the alphabets that want your attention. All right, you have got the word down. So clearly this resonates with the 10 of swords card wherein you had kind of hit the rock bottom. All right, and you felt defeated. Now you are open to trying new things, to looking at alternate doors, all right. And then you're gonna park your success is what I'm getting. Let's see the angel number. You have got the angel number 20, which means the, okay, can you, can you see? Which means the creator loves you and keep faith, don't give up. Let's see what alphabets you have got. This could be your first name, middle name, last name, initials, uh, your initials or a word that really requires your attention. You've got a lot of I and you going over here. All right, the alphabets that you have got are R, U, I, U, I, L, T. You know, the word that I can clearly see over here is lit. 
okay all right so that's interesting now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us so think about a question group three and let me spin the wheel for you all right you got miracle it went to no and then it came back to miracle which means that whatever you have asked there's a high possibility that you first may hear a no or there could be some wait and then it will become it will come true like a miracle all right group three i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did if you did do hit the like button to subscribe to my channel do share this video with your friends and family if you're guided i'm also there on on instagram wherein in the story i share a lot of um, uh, free content wherein how the day is going to be from monday to friday uh, rituals uh, if there is a special day my altar decoration if again there's some special day and also glimpses from my personal life all right so all the comments are given in the pinned all the links are given in the pinned comment you can have a look at it take care bye bye